shout out, Weather IQ 2018. 2018? That's like, when we get to July or so. <laughs> it's 18 to 19, right? Halfway through. How you doing? John's right, I gotta go back to school. <laughs> Today's so. school would have been a good place to go, of course. Ironwood <laughs> Elementary School, they made some big signs for us. This is yes. Stewart's class. It's kind of cool, right? They uh, hashtag Broad, hashtag their class, GEM, Blue Moon, and John's got the funny memes that we all see on uh, Facebook and what have you of uh, the sun. Look at that, I can see right there. Arizona, be like it's 50 degrees. We're going to freeze to death. And that's just one of that's many. That's me. It's anyway. going to be even colder than that tonight. Uh, well, John, all right, that's a nice camera work there, Roland or Clinton, whoever's doing it. But let's roll some tape of the actual event. There you have it. Uh, yeah, thank you. Welcome. We had a good time in the classroom today as we talked about the normal stuff we usually do, and we don't just talk. We make them work, but we give them some prizes, and they have a good time doing it. We uh, went over the five types of precipitation, hurricanes, tornadoes. Of course, the uh, Arizona monsoon. And to see where your school uh, scores or ranks, head on over to kvoa.com slash weather. There's a rotation vorticity explanation. Yay. All right, there it is, kvoa.com. Couple slots still left, not too many. So you're going to want to get those in before too long. Thank you to Mr. Sean Parker getting that blue blood slash uh, super moon into us overnight. How about Greg McCown? He never disappoints the incredible looking moon there on the western skies. Close up from Mark. This came to us on Facebook and on my Facebook page. I got this one from Rob Boone. Caught the moon. Paul likes that. He, he likes Ryan. It rhymes. All right, warmest average January ever. Would you guys let me do my weather cast? 58.6 degrees. Uh, as of today, 59. So if the month ended today, and guess what? It ends in about six hours. It will be the warmest January on record. Looks like this graphic is out of date because that sun did set. And as John mentioned, it was a good looking sunset just before the break. All right, cool of the mornings, 44 here in Tucson. We had 20s in Douglas, 30s in Nogales. Daytime highs today. Pretty warm again, 81 degrees, three shy of the record of 84 set back in 2003. And the plan for tomorrow, the same old story. About 80 degrees here, sunny skies, Tucson, 70s Cochise in Santa Cruz County, and as we'd expect, a little bit cooler up in the mountaintops. Live look, our News 4 Tucson Skynet camera at 617 at night. It's still about 7 degrees above average from what our daytime highs should be. Dry air mass, dew points 10, single-digit relative humidities. Winds out of the north at about 9 miles per hour. Upper 60s, Saurita, and we are currently into the 70s for most of Tucson. Low 60s, Sonoida, hey, into the 50s already in Sierra Vista. Uh, Mid-50s by about 11 o'clock tonight, and we do cool down again. Upper 40s by about 2 a.m. Uh, all courtesy of this area of high pressure that's just been here for the last several months. It's just been in some direction of west of us, just east of us, north, south of us. Any way you look at it, it's been close enough that we really have not had much of a, a fall or B slash winter. And that area of high pressure just going to kind of hang out over the eastern Pacific Ocean. That's going to be more warm temperatures for you and me as we make our way into the next several days. All right. Temps tonight in the 40s, daytime highs tomorrow, sunny again, back to about 80, 20s Wilcox, low 70s Bisbee. Here's your extended forecast, 80 tomorrow, 79 Friday, Groundhog Day, 77 on Saturday, Super Bowl Sunday, 79, back to the 80s Monday through Wednesday. Paul, do you do groundhog noises? 